we need somebody in there who is going to hold them accountable, make them responsible, and do the right thing for the people of this state and this city, and uh, you know, do, do, just do the right thing. If, if you get elected governor, or when you get elected governor, whichever the case may be, what type of programs are you going to give to the community to empower them economically? Uh, we have uh, a great resource here with uh, the Maryland workforce that we can employ making solar panels. Uh, we got a huge market for them in our state. We got a huge need for free energy in this state, and we can subsidize programs that give uh, our youth and disadvantaged people uh, access to training programs so they can have highly technical train jobs in, this, in the energy field. Uh, and we can implement these in installation, manufacturing, sales, marketing. I mean, you know, through our energy company, we can do a lot. Is this going to be a job? Or are you going to offer a person a career? Careers. Absolutely careers, man. It's not a job. In 2014, what are you going to do about the prison industry? Oh, we got to change the corruption. We got to get it run right, plain and simple. I mean, from the top down, it's got to be cleaned out. They cannot keep running things with the shadow puppets that they're running things now with. They're um, hiring completely incompetent people based upon their friendships or their relationships with the candidates in the local governments. And uh, we're hiring them based upon their degrees and not their experience, their professional experience. And that's what we need to do. So in order to clean it out, we got to, in order to eliminate it, we're going to have to clean it out from the top down. How are you going to get rid of the cronyism in Baltimore? We're gonna, or how are you going to get rid of the cronyism in Maryland politics? We're just not going to permit it. Right now, we're not tied into anyone as far as special interests, no groups, no companies, nobody influences Faith Davis. And we don't have, we don't owe anything for that. So and it's straight up business, you know, and that's just the way it is. It is not given out based upon whether or not you're my friend or whether or not you were a donor to, uh, to my campaign. It's going to be based on the merits of the, of the plan. All right, we got a hemp program going around Baltimore, and they're talking about the legalization of medical marijuana, but marijuana has a greater value in the community other than just medical uses. Would the hemp program be included in your platform? 100 percent. I'm pro-legalization. Uh, we have to realize that there is a medicinal value to marijuana that relieves people of chronic pain rather than just feed them a bunch of chemicals. Either way, we got to get people's pain, you know, we got to do stuff to manage people's pain and their chronic ailments. And if we can use the product, uh, use the plant to make other products, I mean, I've heard of some of the good things about hemp, but we need to explore all of those uses so that we can, uh, you know, plan effectively on how we can use our resources and do the best thing that we can for the state of Maryland. All right, all right. People are going to do that anyway. All right.